today we're going to go over two things that come up as topic in my Facebook group and that Facebook group is the Hubson H122D Storm Group. I'll post a link um, under the video so you can just click that link and request to join. Uh, please come and join us. Stay up to date on the Hubson Storm and coming soon hopefully it's Big Brother which hopefully we can call this one a real racer. Um, I can't give you any information on that just yet, but uh, I'm excited to hopefully uh, be able to do that soon. So join the group and stay current on the information to come. Um, the two things that we're going to go over are two topics that are pretty popular. Uh, one of them is a calibration of the IMU. Um, some people will say do a horizontal calibration or IMU calibration. What you're doing with that is you're calibrating the gyro to uh, zero values at the current state position that the quad is in. So you want to have a nice flat level surface to do that and we have a good flat level surface today to do that in. And uh, on your monitor if you notice your PNR values are off significantly you definitely want to do this or if you're flying and you notice that it's constantly wanting to drift, let's say as an example, uh, it's con constantly wanting to pitch and drift forward, um, then you need to do this calibration and it'll make, make flying a lot more easy and uh, more stable. So I'll show you how to do that. The other one is the binding process. This seems to be confusing. Um, people aren't having a problem binding the transmitter with the quad so much as they're having a problem binding all three together. So I'm going to show you how to do that and make sure you fully understand it. It's, it's such a simple process. Once you see it done one time, you won't have any problems doing it. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and bind them. And I'm going to turn the quad away from us because I like to focus on these lights in the back. Um, I recommend whenever you do calibrations or whenever you're binding or anything like that, just go, just watch it from the back and learn the habits of these lights and the noises and beeps that you'll hear. Um, so first, let's go ahead and bind all three together. First thing we wanna do is put the transmitter in the bind state, then we're gonna put the monitor in the bind state, and then we're gonna bind the quad to both of them. And to do this, You've got two buttons here. You got on the top your video, and then further to the left is your photo. We're going to be using the photo button. And then we're going to take this left stick and we're going to hold it down in the bottom left hand corner. So again, pull it down in the bottom left hand corner and hold, press and hold the photo button, and then press and hold power until the transmitter turns on and instantly you'll see that it goes into bind state. So now that it's in bind state, we need to get the monitor into bind state. So you wanna turn on your monitor. And there's your Hubskin, Hubson home screen. And now you have on the bottom left-hand corner, right here, it's marked C-E. You want to press and hold the CE button, and now that starts beeping. So now we've got both of them in the bind state, and all we have to do is plug in the quad. These lights will flash, and you'll get some beeping. And now we're bound. So now that we're bound, you can see we have FPV on the screen. And there you go. So now my P and R value isn't isn't really off. That right there would fly just fine, um, but we're gonna we're gonna adjust. We're gonna do the calibration for that now. So again. You want to do this calibration if you're having a hard time flying and keeping it stable. Um, it could be two things. Either you're a bad pilot <laughs> like me or you have had some bumps and 
bangs from your typical flying flying around and bouncing off walls or landing hard. After you do that enough times, you, you're bound to throw these values off. Um, but I recommend you do this from delivery um, so you can be assured that everything's okay and well balanced. And uh, you want to do it on a nice flat level surface because again, you're going to be zeroing out the P and R value. So if it's on a non-level surface and you do the calibration, this is what it's going to read as level. And that's how exactly how it's going to want to fly. So we don't want to calibrate it on a crooked surface or tilt it in any way. You want to have it nice and flat just like that. So I'm going to turn it away from us so we can see the lights. And now we're going to do the calibration. Very simple. All you do is you take your left hand stick again and you hold it to the bottom right this time while you have it held in the bottom right you're going to take the right hand stick and you're just going to toggle it left and right and then you'll see on the quad that the back lights start flashing do this without blocking it i'm sorry okay and left right left right left right and now it's flashing and it's done it's as simple as that so I'll do it one more time for you so you can see take the left stick bottom right hand corner toggle the right stick left and right until you see the lights flash and you're done so now we have it zeroed out, both the P and R values are zeroed out, and it's all calibrated. So hopefully that has resolved some issues for you, and uh, you now know how to do the calibration, and you know now how, know how to bind them all together. And uh, please keep uh, watching my videos by subscribing and I will be bringing you more information uh, for the Hubson Storm, and hopefully it's Big Brother that is going to be following it. And uh, like I've said before, I don't consider this a racer, but it's going to have a Big Brother that uh, I think we're going to be able to call a racer. Um, I do know some things about it as far as the specs and everything go, and... Um, I'm not allowed to share those with you now at this point, but hopefully soon I will be able to. So if you join the group and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'll do my best to keep you up to date and uh, try to get you the information as soon as I can do so. And um, the other videos that I'm going to be doing, there's some problems that we're having with the Hubson Storm. One of them is this bus flying off the motor shaft. And what that is, is um, it's a press fit piece that goes on the shaft, and then your prop screws to that. It's coming off as one whole piece. So you're losing the boss, the prop, and the screw all, all held together. They're just flying right off. And as you know, these things don't fly very well with three props. So um, that's a little bit of a problem. As you can see here, um, this one flew off and broke the prop so it, that prop's worthless um, i have fixed the boss on this and uh it's it's working fine this little repair to, to resolve the problem with the props and so far i'm i'm at least 10 flights in and it's worked out fine no props have flown off or anything like that so that's one thing I'll be doing in future videos. So again, subscribe, stay tuned, join the group, and uh, stay on top of all the information to come. Thanks.